Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to look at a feature that's brand new to 8090 on the ICX, which is uh, SSH turned on by default. So in prior versions, um, not only was SSH not turned on by default, you had to generate a key and then set up the AAA, uh, but there was no password for anything. There was no password for Telnet. Uh, there was no uh, uh, login set up for the web access other than you could get read-only with the SNMP string. But there was no um, uh, no other login. There was no way to, to make changes. So uh, in this version, as we're going to see, um, what the the change really is that uh, that that we're going to get a prompt when we log on. Um, so I'm going to say no to that. If I was on the uh, console, it would ask me for a username and password. So we'll set that up. You could set it up through SSH. You could set it up through console, however you want to do it. Um, but what we're going to do is the username is super by default. And the password is sp-admin. So that is the same on our access points. If you look on the bottom of any Ruckus access point, you're going to see the default username and password is super and sp-admin, and that is now the case um, also on the switch. So the other thing that's going to happen is, so it's, it's told me that I've logged in successfully with a default password, but it's forcing me here to change the password. It's not giving me an option. So the first time you log into that switch, you have to change the password. You have no alternative. So we'll change it to uh, something else. I'll just change it to password. It's going to ask you to uh, change that again. Um, and so I now have a username called super and a password. I made a password, but it's going to be whatever you've changed it to. Uh, and then it says authentication is enabled um, in the device for console, web, and SSH. So remember, in the past, you would have had to uh, gone in and generate that SSH key and set up AAA and same thing for web access right you would have to set up the the AAA and a local username and password for web access now we've done it for you so if I look in the show run now uh, we can see that the system has set up the local username and password so username super um, it's turned off telnet so telnet is now disabled by default in the past uh, telnet was wide open right so if this device got an IP address from DHCP for example as this one has um, then it would have uh, just been wide open for anybody as long as they knew the IP address and so that is not the case so a telnet server is disabled you can re-enable it of course if you want to um, it has set up AAA authentication for the web uh, via local username and password, AAA authentication for login, so, you know, SSH, uh, via local username and password. And it's also set up AAA on the console. So even the console is now protected by this local username and password. So all of that has been done for you automatically. And again, you know, you've gone in and changed your password, right? So, so the same thing is going to hold true if I SSH. So this is another device I'm SSHing into. So uh, again, super sp-admin, we'll use the default. It's going to ask me to uh, change my password. Um, and it's enabled. So exactly the same way, whether you do it from console or you do it from SSH, it works the same. So. Um, Anyway, handy new feature, definitely adds a level of security to the products that were not there in the past, but definitely something to keep in mind. The other thing to bear in mind is that if you have upgraded from a previous version to 8090 and you already have a configuration, a startup configuration file on the device, you will not be asked to um, log in and change the password. It will take whatever configuration is on there from the past. So if there's any startup configuration on the box, this does not apply. It only applies to devices with no startup configuration. Okay, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoy the new feature and have a great day. Take care.